I can feel them touching me, I'll stop it. If you might get pissed, but Six days ago, I had a procedure done, a fistulogram uh, revision. Well, contrary to what people might think, I do not have a fistula. That's not what I have. I have a graft. A graft is like an artificial, like it's an artificial tube that has been inserted into my arm. And the reason why I needed to get this graft done, from time to time, you have to get revisions done on your graft and your fistula because it closes over time. Well, with the graft that I have in my arm, <clears throat> it doesn't close, but the vessels around it, like the tissues inside the arm start to heal around the graft and it starts to close over time, which can cause high pressure when you're on a machine. You don't want that. It can damage the, the fistula if you have one because the fistula is made of your own blood vessels and those blood vessels can be damaged they can be broken they can they can burst if there's too much pressure but I mean you know a, a, a graft can't be destroyed because it's made of of uh, a Kevlar type of material like bulletproof vests are made of Kevlar but it can expand and it can damage the vessels around it which can cause a blowout so I needed to get this procedure done so that way I could have good good flow. Because the better the flow, the better your treatments are going to go. The better, the more blood is filtered out of your body through the machine and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. All the technical stuff. So here are some of the highlights of that procedure. I mean, I can't like with these the, a lot of these videos talking about these procedures are going to leave a lot to the imagination because I can't like have my camera, I can't have my phone in the operating room. Like they can't like videotape, they can't record a procedure that's being done. You know, I never asked, but I don't know. But in, in certain situations here, like I can't like bring my phone in. So I can't, uh, I can't record the procedure, which is really where the meat is, you know. But what they do is, what my surgeon did was she went in with a literal balloon. This is a, a little tiny balloon. It's not like this massive thing. It's this little tiny balloon and she sticks it in and then she pumps it and it increases in size and opens up the graft. <clears throat> it expands the graft, the fistula, and it expands it on the inside. And then she, you know, she uh, pulls the balloon out and it should be good for a little while. How much time? That I'm not really, I'm not really sure. You know, it depends on how, you know, well my healing factor is for the arm. But when it closes on the inside, it'll notify you, like on the outside, with the machine. Like the machine, you'll start to see high pressures. You'll, the machine will tell you that there's a problem. You'll start to visibly see it on the outside. It's not something that should be taken for granted. If a, if a fistula or a graft is damaged, then they can't use it anymore. Like it's a one and done. So now they have to switch to another vet, another blood vessel in your body. I've heard of a guy putting one in his leg. I think that's ill advised, but he did it because he didn't want his arms. He didn't want his. He didn't want to have his arms looking like hamburger meat. I get. I totally get that. But they have to switch to other vessels in your body that they can connect a graft or fistula to. And you don't want that. You want to be able to use your arm as long as possible. And if you're doing dialysis alone, like I'm doing dialysis alone, you have to take that sort of thing very seriously. High pressures is a big deal. It's a very subtle thing that some people might not. Oh, well, 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 whatever. Who, who gives a shit? Right? But you should. You should. One or two times in like one or two times in like the month. You know, that's fine. Let it ride. But if it's happening every, if high blood pressure, when you start, well, at the start of the treatment and throughout the entirety of the treatment, if it's high pressure throughout the entire treatment, you have a problem and you need to go talk to a, uh, 
uh, not a cardiologist, but you need to talk to a doctor. Do you your general care or, you know, whatever doctor put the graft or the fistula in your arm, you got to speak to somebody that specializes in that, in that specialty, you know, and that specializes in that field of medicine because you got to get that taken care of because <clears throat> you don't want like toxins to build up when they could be eliminated from your body. Now, I'm not saying that it's a great thing. You will never hear that from me. But what you want is you want the treatment to go as smoothly as possible. That's what I'm saying. You don't got to like it. You don't got to love it. But you should try to make the treatment go as smoothly as possible. 